So if you guys have been with the channel for any length of time, uh, you probably have seen that I have uh, some very bad coping mechanisms with stress, which of course I think the whole world is under a ton of stress right now. And uh, my, my main one is online shopping. It's very bad, it's very dangerous. Last month I went crazy during Memorial Day and spent a lot on my credit card. This weekend Ulta decided to release three uh, really good free gifts. Uh, free gifts are my Achilles heel. I will literally spend more money than I would ever plan to just to get a free cosmetic bag. It's not an, it's not something I'm proud of, but here we are. So because I had spent so much money last month and I'm trying so hard not to spend money and be good, um, I opted to use a lot of my rewards points this weekend. So I wound up putting in three separate orders and I redeemed uh, 2000 points a piece, which is the equivalent of $125. Um, so basically I bought uh, a bunch of sale stuff. I bought uh, things that included free gifts. I bought everything I could to get the most bang for my buck. I probably got what I would say about $600 worth of retail makeup. Um, the sale price and everything was about three, I would say like 380. Um, I used $375 worth of rewards points and I wound up paying $6 total for each of the orders combined. So this particular one was the second order I placed. I don't know why, but it shipped before the first. So the first order and the third order should be here either tomorrow or Friday. And we will get that filmed and then probably do them together, but we'll see. This one I wanted to go ahead and do uh, and get out of the way because it's a lot and I didn't want it to be like a four 45 minute video. So I have a very particular strategy. I normally, I look for sales, I look for free gifts, I look for coupons, I look for whatever I can to make sure that I am getting the absolute most makeup that I will use um, for my for my points, for my money, whatever. I, it, especially with my points, I don't know why I treat it like slightly better than my money. That's a stupid way to handle it, but I do. So I picked up a couple new palettes that weren't on sale, but I picked up a lot of stuff that was on sale. So let me go ahead and pull up what it is that I got here so I can show you guys the pricing breakdown and everything as well. Um, and then we will jump into this bad boy if I can get internet, I'm not sure I can. While that's loading. I have already done and posted, we posted yesterday, the Coca-Cola times Morphe review. It was something, it's new on the market. This is what the palette itself looks like. You can tell that it's been used, it's fine. Um, but this is what the palette looks like inside. Cute packaging and stuff like that. Overall, um, it's a $22 retail value. That's what I paid for it uh, using my points. And it just was kind of a miss for me. Um, wasn't really anything spectacular. If you guys wanna watch that video, uh, I, I mean, the eye look doesn't, it's not terrible. I, I will use the palette. It's just not something I think that anybody needs to rush out and buy. I think there are better palettes out there that offer a, a wider variety of colors. So that was kind of my response to that. But we did already take and play with that one. So that one was $22. That was $22 of this order. Uh, the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is I did pick up the Weekend Vibes Belgium Waffle Palette, which is the new bronzing highlight palette from BH Cosmetics. I love BH Cosmetics. I think they're one of the best affordable brands out there. They're always releasing new stuff. They have just an incredible collection. That's what the palette itself looks like. I'm sure it's getting hella reflection off the shimmery lights and the fact that the plastic is like sealed to it and I don't wanna pop it off right now. But I picked up, they had two new eyeshadow palettes in this collection as well. It's like their brunch collection. I picked up the two eyeshadow palettes in the first order, so those will be coming. But I went back when I made my second order and I decided, what the hell, let's pick this one up too. So that little guy was a, I think an $18 palette. He was, he was $18. So the next thing I got, I'm really excited about this one. I've actually wanted to get this palette for like probably close to two months. Um, Makeup Revolution, uh, Revolution Cosmetics or Revolution Makeup, they, they go by several different names from what I've gathered. I think they're all part of the same company, but I may be wrong if I'm wrong, then please let me know. But that's what I've gathered kind of looking at them. Anyway, they are also one of my favorite affordable brand uh, brands on the market. They, they have a good formula. I've seen some people say that they're not big fans. I really like them. I've not used anything that I haven't liked from them yet. They released this palette and it's a really pretty summertime palette. Like it just, you guys can see just from like the shimmery glittery packaging and it's textured. It's like that raised shimmer too. And it's like super thick and big. And then you open it up and it comes with mainly shimmers, which is not something that I normally, I'm gonna use this to block it. It's not something that I would normally opt to get because I use um, shimmers a lot less than I use matte shades, but you get a lot of really good mattes in it too. These are mattes, These, this is a matte, that one, that one, that one, that one. I don't know if you guys can even see because it's like falling on me, but it's so large. The the shadows themselves are so large. And then it's just such a summery palette. Like I just look at it and I go like, oh, you've been laying out in the sun 
and now you're popping on a quick makeup so that you just like have a little bit of something on your face and these are just gonna reflect so well with this this the sun that you've gotten and the tans and all that I just love it I loved it I loved it well of course everybody else who saw it was like hell yeah and it's oh it's $25 too for all these colors so you're getting I think it's yeah, you're gonna get 28 shades with this bad boy and it is $25, which is less than a dollar a shade. Um, so it sold out as soon as I saw it on Ulta's website. I hadn't shopped on, on the website for a little while and so I was going and perusing one day and it was I was like, I want that and then it was gone. Well, they restocked it and then because I waited a little bit to buy this, actually I had it in my cart and then it went on sale. So I, instead of paying 25, which I would have happily paid for it, I wound up paying 17.50 for this palette. So I am so excited to use this. I'm not sure I'm gonna do a first impressions of it. I might, I might not, just because it is, it has been out there for a while, but if you guys wanna see it, definitely leave in the comments. Yes, please do a first impressions, cause that would help. But I haven't really decided. It's definitely something that I just wanted for my collection now. Uh, continuing on with the palettes. I picked this one up on a whim. I needed to make it to use, the, to use your points most effectively. Um, it's really intelligent to go ahead and redeem 2000 at a time because that gets you to $125 rather than I think if you use like, like 1500 or something, it's like $75. It's, it's something weird like that. You get a lot more bang for your buck if you just save it up to 2000 So, But the thing is you have to be at that $125 mark in order to redeem the right amount of points. So uh, I was really particular about like making sure it came in right at like 126 maybe 127 so that when the points came off after taxes and everything, um, it was going to be right at like a dollar, two dollars for each order. So I saw this one when I was trying to meet my price quota and I've used some Essence products before and I've seen a lot of people talk about like certain things are really great from Essence. I've never used any of their actual like, um, what I would call, I guess like powder makeup, if that makes sense. Like I've not used, I've used like their eyebrow gel. I've used their eyebrow pencils. I've used mascaras from them, but I've never tried like a blush or a bronzer or anything like that. And so this is an eyeshadow palette. I personally have a deep fascination with, with witches and, and um, the history of witches. Uh, I wrote two large thesis papers in my history undergrad. Um, Cause I have a history degree as well. Fun fact. Um, and I wrote two papers about the witch trials, one in Salem and one in um, Europe. So I really just have a very like affinity towards witches and witchcraft and witch type things. And so I saw the name and I said, I don't care, I'm gonna buy it. And it's really pretty. I Like I said, I don't know how the formula is. I definitely wanna do in first impressions of this one just because I've not ever used any of their, um, their eyeshadows before. But it was only $11 as well. I think it was normally $15 and it was on sale for 11. Yeah, it was normally $14.99 on sale for $11.24. So I was like, let's do it. So I got that. And then I also, I had to, like I said, I got to meet that quota and get over 125. So I was like just a dollar under. So I threw in one of the Essence brow uh, gels as well because I know I like it. And I um, I was running low on mine. So the rest of what we got is pretty simple, pretty quick to go through, I think is the best way to describe it. What made me put in this order was um, after I made my first order, I was like, okay, I got my first order. I got the one free bag that I really wanted to make sure that I got. Um, they, they did have three variations, which is why I ended up putting in three orders because I have a problem. But then the second the second day of the sale and with the free gifts offered, they put um, my favorite shampoo conditioner duo, um, affordable duo on sale. And I was like, I'd been waiting to, to see if they were gonna put them on sale. I think they're normally like $7.99 or $8.99 and these were, 524. So I got uh, there that Hask uh, Unwind Repair Expert. It is made with, or I don't know if it's made with, or it says inspired by. I think it has wine extract in it. I don't know. I feel like it just does a really good job of keeping my hair healthy, soft, but not drying it out. I found that certain shampoos are just really harsh on my hair. And then a lot of them too, when you have like colored hair, as you guys know, like the purple washes out so quickly. And with COVID, um, I'm still going to work. So I'm showering every single day, which I used to not do. Yeah, so because of that, I opted to go ahead and, and pick up three of each of the shampoos and the conditioners. So this is what the conditioner looks like. Same thing, just shampoo versus conditioner. So I got six total, $30 in, shampoo and conditioner, which is in my opinion, a great deal and it's gonna last me for a really long time. So I'm not gonna have to order any anytime soon, but I did opt to go ahead and get those because I've been missing them hardcore. I ran out and I tried to buy actually a, a more expensive shampoo. I think it's, 
I'm trying to remember who it is. I don't remember. It's a name brand shampoo and it's not cheap, but I just don't love the way it's working on my hair. So I was like, I'm gonna buy this. The next thing I picked up is um, the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioners. I believe these are buy one, get one 50% off. Yeah, it was. So I paid uh, $11.99 for both of them. I think they're normally like $7.99 or $8.99 a piece. Um, I had bought this a while ago. I wasn't really using it. And then when I started showering every day, the shampoo that I'm using currently, the conditioner doesn't do a good job of like softening my hair. So to keep from tangling and pulling and also to help keep my hair like a little bit stronger because I feel like when I put this in, it just like helps like give it a little bit more oomph throughout the day. I wound up using the crap out of it and now it's empty. So when I saw it was on sale, I was like, gotta get that, gotta go. And then the last thing I picked up was also on sale and I've been wanting to try it for a while. TikTok talks about it. Uh, everybody in the world I think talks about it and I just had not made the bullet bite yet. I don't, that, that was not the right way to say that, but here we are. Um, and I got the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I think everybody agrees that these are better than like makeup wipes than makeup remover. So I was like, you know, like, let's let's try it. Let's try it out. So I, I got him, I, I did. And he was on sale for $6.74, normally $8.99. Finally, we come down to our free gifts, which was the reason I decided to put in so many orders this weekend. To get the gift, you had to spend $85. Um, and you had the option of three different little bags. They had a cheetah print, a zebra print, and a palm frond print. And inside, I think it had 18 products. Um, and I'm just gonna give you guys like a quick, I'm not gonna go through everything because there is a lot in here and they're all minis. But some of the highlights of this particular bag is you got a Kenra Prime shampoo and conditioner in like a pretty decent sized. And I love these for when I'm traveling, not that I'm doing that in 2020, um, maybe not even 2021, but you know, here we are. Then we got a caviar anti-aging, anti-frizz dry oil mist, um, which I like these for summertime. Uh, I've not tried this particular brand or this particular formula, but I always like anti-frizz stuff when it gets hot because my hair could just, I, sometimes it's frizzy, sometimes it's greasy. It just does whatever the hell it wants. So anything to kind of combat that is normally a, a, something good in my book. Um, we got a Peter Thomas Ross cucumber gel mask, which I've used in the past and I own uh, a couple different ones of this because I do like it. Um, I will say we did a face mask on Nikki and he had a terrible response to the Peter Thomas Roth collection. So may it may be not for everybody, but I, I do like them. I, we got the No Pore Problem Primer from Touch and Soul, which I have a couple full sizes of these from different uh, subscription boxes and I really like it. So that's a good little travel size. Got a nice uh, Hava hand cream. Uh, Bumble and Bumble hairdressers, invisible oil primer, just a lot of really good stuff, especially for traveling. Plus you gotta love the bag. Like I said, I am just an absolute hoe for a bag. I will do absolutely anything to receive it. So I, I will I, I will spend lots of money to get a free gift. Um, and then if you spent an extra $15, so you spent $100, you got this in addition to it. It, they think they called it a see-through clutch or something like that. Oh, I forgot. This is the free gift is not the last thing, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Anyway, see-through clutch. Um, so, and it's just a nice little thing. I think it'd be like a really good pool bag. Obviously it could be um, a nice little makeup case as well. Uh, but yeah, I was like, cool, I like it. I like everything I got. Um, unfortunately, this is the one part that I did forget. I got these little Lottie London, they did like mini nine pan palettes and they were super cheap, like full price. I think they were $7.99. I have not used Lottie London's products in the past. So I opted to get these little Lottie, Love, the Lottie London Layla Loves Neon Ibiza. And I think there's a Layla Loves Neon Miami, I think is what the other one is. The Miami I purchased first, so that's coming in one of the other boxes. But I, I got this one and it's so beautiful, but it was annihilated. I mean like, Four of the colors are just powder. It happens, it is awful. It's not, I don't blame Ulta ever. I, it's the, definitely when it's being transported and I understand like shit happens. Unfortunately, it is a, an online exclusive. So even if I wanted to, I couldn't go exchange it in stores right now. So I, I emailed them. Uh, they're really normally very good about getting back to you quickly. So I emailed them and I just included like, you know, the order number. Uh, a picture of the broken palette and a picture of the palette on the website. So they had the product number two to make it really simple. And I was just like, hey, I got this, it was broken, sad face. And uh, before even like, I sent, I, I think I sent the email like 11 o'clock before even like two o'clock, they had sent me a shipping confirmation for a new one and a replacement um, or a, an order confirmation. And the shipping I got just about an hour ago today. So um, it should be on the way. 
I am excited to try it because like I said, I've not used them, but I posted a picture. The sad thing is that even the, even smashed all the crap. The palette's really pretty. So I posted a picture of it on, on the Dark Angel Instagram, um, which if you're interested, go follow that and our Twitter. I'm trying to use Twitter and it's very complicated. I'm not good. I'm not meant to use Twitter, but I, I'm, I'm doing my damnedest. But anyway, so I posted a picture on Instagram and, and Lottie London actually reached out and they said, oh no, have you heard from Ulta yet? And, and I hadn't at the time, but I was like, I'm sure they'll be on it. So, but I thought it was really sweet that they saw the picture and they were like, oh no, that's so sad. Anyway, I'm excited to try them. There's a lot more coming, a lot more coming. Um, I've, I've realized that when I do these hauls, I kind of have a theme. I always buy palettes. That's just like naturally what I do, but this one seemed to be really hair care heavy. Um, and palette heavy. I have another box coming that's like mainly like concealer and foundation heavy. And then another one that's mainly like brow products heavy. And I just don't know why I do that, but that's kind of where I shop around and then I look at what's on sale and I always buy multiples of stuff that aren't like palettes, like things that I know I'm gonna go through past, like my shampoos and my brow stuff. I always buy them in pairs or in triplets or whatever. So it's just weird little Id idiosyncrasies that I have that I know about myself that I'm, I'm aware that I do. I wish I weren't like this, but it's who I am. It's, I'm a hoarder. It's fine. It's fine. I'm a collector. It's, I just, I collect, I collect my makeup and I at least use it. So that's, that's, a, that's something. So I'm rambling now. Sorry about that guys. Uh, <laughs> I know we're also going to do a video hopefully today and be posted tomorrow. It may not happen that way, but that's the goal. Um, where I'm actually going to kind of go through how I make sure that I get the most um, bang for my buck in terms of using the points and shopping the sales and doing that. It will be very like beginner friendly. If you guys know the Ulta system really well, it probably won't be that useful. But if somebody's trying to understand like how do the points work? How can you effectively shop the sales? What is your strategy to get bundles of stuff that literally this, this, this particular one was my most, no, 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 this wasn't the most expensive. This one after I had a 350 coupon cause you, they always have some sort of a coupon on the website for like, like non um, prestige brands, which I know like Revolution Glow, Glow, Essence, I think even Morphe and BH, they're all considered that. So there was more than enough for it to come off of. But like they had like 350 off 15, so that came off. And then I used my points, uh, which was worth $125. So after all of those discounts applied, I wound up paying $1.61 for this particular order. That is so much makeup for $1.61. And I'm not saying it's not, you're not going to put money in to be able to get that. Cause I definitely spent a lot of money to be able to build my points up to, I had them to um, 11,500 when I started redeeming. So I, I had a lot of points accumulated, but it's definitely something where if you are kind of strategic about the way you, you redeem the points and the way you accumulate the points and, and the shopping, the sales and all that stuff, you can wind up getting so much more makeup and being able to either test stuff out or stock up on things that you know you love. I figured it might be kind of fun for you guys to, and maybe useful too, for you guys to see what I normally do and my thought process when I'm going through and buying that kind of stuff. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna be working on that video. Um, I, I'm sorry I talked for like 40 minutes. I, I'm so sorry, I'm just, a, I'm, I'm a rambling person today and I apologize for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel out an absolute ton. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you uh, have any anything you'd like to see a first impressions of or anything else that you would like to say. Um, I definitely love hearing from you guys. It makes my day. Um, like I said, I've been stressed out a lot lately with just everything going on in the world and then other stuff as well in my own life. And it's just, YouTube has been very, very um, therapeutic. It's, it's nice to see people commenting. And even if I don't respond, I read all of your comments and I take them to heart. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch and to, um, to interact. And, and it just means the world to me. So if you guys uh, haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that as well. Um, we'd love to have you as one of our Dark Angel family members. And other than that, I hope you guys are all happy and safe and you stay girly with a dark twist.